Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Lesoi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a health system for your player character. So let's begin. I'm going to show you an overview of how it's going to look like. So if I just run around and I have it set up on key one, if I press one, I'm going to take some damage. And then when I get to zero, my player will die. So to create this, I'm going to create a third person uh, new project and I will call it character health. Character health. So if we create this, once your project has loaded in, the first thing we're going to do is navigate to our third person character into blueprints and I'm going to create two variables, one for health and the other for max health. So, and I'm going to make them type float. So health, float, new variable called max health. And then I'm going to compile this, set the maximum value to 100. And the max health value is going to be also 100. And once that is done, I'm going to exit from here and inside my third person character, I'm going to create a new widget, widget blueprint of user widget class. And I will call it WB for widget blueprint underscore health bar. Then inside my widget blueprint, I'm going to get a canvas panel. Then after I have that, I'm going to get a progress bar. And we also want a text so the player can see how much health they have left. Our progress bar, I'm going to bring down over here. That's our text and my health bar, progress bar here. And I will make it a length of 300. And I'm happy with the width. And I'm just going to position, I'm going to anchor it in the middle. So it doesn't get displaced if our screen resolution changes. And I'm going to place it in the middle like so. And then if you can see the percent over here, this changes the color of the health bar. So I can change the health bar color over here and give it a red color. And then for the background, it's still gray. So if we go to style and if we go to background image and we double click on this, we also can change it to red and darken it like so. So I'm happy with that. Next, we grab our text. We can size the content and we will change the size because this is a little bit too big. So I think 18 will be good. And in text block, we can just write down our health value and place it here like so. Also, uh, for your text, make sure it's a variable because we want to edit it in the blueprints. So compile and save. Then if we click on our health bar, and if I go to the percent and I click bind, create binding, and inside of here, I'm going to create a new variable called health of type float. Then from get percent, I'm going to cast to our player. So for me, it's going to be the third person character. So, and the object is get player character. Then for our as third person character, we're going to drag from here and we're going to get our health that we created inside our blueprint and we're going to get our max health. So we're going to divide these guys um, by each other. And then the outcome of this is going to be plugged in into the return node. So that's our health bar setup. And now for our text, click on the text. Also in the text over here, um, we're going to create a bind, create binding. So the same process, we're going to cast to third person character. And from here, get player character. Then from the as third person character, we're going to get our health. And we're going to get our max health. The reason for this is we want to clamp the 
text so it doesn't exceed below uh, zero and also doesn't go above 100. So from here, I'm going to get uh, text to float. And actually before that, I'm going to get a clamp of type float. And our maximum value is going to be our max player health and our minimum, va minimum value is going to be zero. So from here, we plug it into text to float. And then uh, from here, I'm going to format text, uh, disconnect this node. And in format, we will type curly brackets, X curly brackets, and plug this into X. And then the return value goes into here. And that is our player health widget done. So we can close this. We don't need it anymore. Then inside of our player character, if you already have an existing uh, event begin play, just create a sequence. And from here, zero goes into the code you already have. And then one will go to the code we will create now. So I want to create a widget. And the widget type is going to be the health bar we just created. And then from here, I'm going to promote to variable. And I'm going to call this my health bar ref reference and then i'm going to add it to our viewport and i will just drag it a little bit back because it's too close and then from our health reference i'm going to drag off this node and i'm going to set health and my health is going to be my maximum health like so now for uh if i save we can see that actually I missed one part. If I go to my health bar, I forgot to set this to middle. We anchored that to the middle. And now if I go to play, we can see the health bar is displayed on the screen. But we don't have actual uh, function yet. So if I go back to my blueprint, to my um, third person character in here, I'm going to create a event any damage. So we will get our health and we're going to subtract from the event any damage like so. Then before I set my health, I'm going to clamp it. Oh, let's comment. I want that. So we're going to clamp float. And our maximum value is going to be our maximum health. And our minimum value is going to be zero. So fuck that loop like so. And then I will take my health bar reference and I will set health. And I will get our max health and connect it to set. So this is also linking it to the widget we created. Then from here, I'm going to check if my health is equal to zero and I'm going to get a branch. And if this statement is true, if our health is equal to zero, then we want our player to die. And if it is not, we want our player to uh, have a animation of being hurt or something like that. So if you want to create a death for your character, just create a custom event and inside I will rename this to that inside of our custom event that I will say destroy actor and reference to self. So if you have a, a logic for your debt, you can just have it in here. And then inside of your health event, any damage, just say, just call back the debt function you created. And that's all in there. And just to test this, I'm going to get a keyboard one and from here i'm going to say apply damage and damaged actor is going to be us so a reference to self and our base damage so how much damage we want to cost to the player let's say 20 like we had in the video and you would have something similar inside of your enemy ai so you could create a variable and then plug it into the apply damage and select class damage type. 
And if we compile and save, and I hit play, if I press one, we're going to see our health uh, draining, and then my player will die. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy gaming.